Hey everybody, this is the MTG Noob here, and I am bringing you a deck tech with Jund. Now this is my own personal list, which is probably why it looks like crap. But I'm going to try it out in a few test games. First, let's just go over the mana base. Um, four woodland cemeteries, two swamps, that might be wrong, it should possibly be one swamp. Six mountains, seven forests. Four Evolving Wilds, and one Wolf Run, just to try to get uh, some trample damage in when you really need it later on. Okay, let's talk about the mana acceleration slash fixing. We have four Pilgrims, which I don't particularly like in this deck since it makes white mana, but it's pretty good going turn one Pilgrim, turn two Borderland Ranger, and it also pairs with Wolfier Silverheart later on, but the main reason is to play a larger Fireball. Okay, then you have Abundant Growth for fixing at four of them. Okay, and then finally for fixing we have four Borderland Ranger. Um, then let's talk about our removal spells. We have three Tragic Slip in the main for the early Weenie Rush. Three Sever for the later game, harder to deal with big dudes or tokens or things of that nature. Okay, then we have four Devil's Play, which I'm hoping goes strictly to the head, but will most of the time have to kill an early creature if we're on the defensive. And four Bonfires. Um, I know a lot of people like three. I think four is currently the right number because the card is just so good when you miracle it. And when you don't miracle it, it's still pretty decent, especially if they play out a lot of tokens and things of that nature. Okay, let's talk about our kill conditions. Four Hunt Masters. This is really just to kind of stabilize, regain some life, plop another dude on the board. Two Silver Heart, which kind of makes you go big, especially with one of your earlier creatures if you get him out of turn earlier. And I think the main kill in the deck is actually going to be Aristocrat. Um, combined with probably Bonfire and Devil's Play. The other reason I'm playing um, Aristocrat is all the humans the deck is playing is four Hunt Masters, four Borderland Ranger, and four Pilgrims. So that's 12 humans, which I could sack to, and it'll get a 1-1 counter. So that's the main deck. Let's talk a little bit about the sideboard here. Um, I have no idea if these things are right but I put them in for reasons in my brain. So that makes them, I guess, somewhat right. Okay, uh, first is Pillar, uh, three of. Uh, this basically is going to come in mainly against your early creature rushes, but mainly against zombies or creatures that come back with Undying, such as Stranglerout Geist, things of that nature. We have two Graph Diggers Cage for any Frights slash Angel of Glory's Rise, Reanimator, Combo decks, things of that nature. They really shut them down. Uh, two Trees of Redemption because we basically want trees to sit there, block, gain us a bunch of life. And in case you didn't notice, they pair really well with uh, Wolfier Silverheart. You play a tree on turn 4, Silverheart on turn 5, and then you can go up to 17 life. For Garrick Rentless, I think this basically is going to come in a bunch more than I think. Um, I like it a lot against control decks. Uh, I hate it against Hellrider decks, and some of the decks are playing Hellrider, so that's why it's in the board. Two Zealous Conscripts to steal their big things, steal any problematic creatures on their side, and... Two more Silverheart to just kind of go big against the green-red aggro decks, and the mirror, and things of that nature. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this deck tech. I'm going to bring you some matches with it now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.